evolutionary scientists and the millions of ordinary citizens indoctrinated by them through our educational institutions and media have been taught that the world made itself. The Bible, on the other hand, clearly states that God created this world. So, which is right? Evolution or the Bible? Enter the science of probability and statistics. Proponents of the theory of evolution have maintained that even a monkey tapping away randomly at a keyboard could eventually write not only words, but phrases, sentences, and yes, even a book. But is that so? Could a monkey sitting in front of a keyboard with 60 keys type the word monkey? The answer is yes. But only once in 46,656,000,000 tries. But let's make it more difficult. Let's have our monkey type a book, say the Bible. A version composed of 4,340,000 letters. Could our monkey do that? Accidentally? The odds are 1 in 10 to the 6,200,000th power. That's 1 followed by 6,200,000 200,000 zeros. That's the odds of a monkey typing a book accidentally. Now, if it would take that long for a monkey to randomly type one book, how long do you think it would take for a universe to randomly come together by itself? It would take trillions and trillions of years, and very few evolutionists believe the world is more than four to six billion years old. So, what are the odds that our unbelievably complex universe created itself? Dr. David Menton, Professor Emeritus at Washington University, gives us the answer. In 1998, while an Associate Professor of Anatomy, he was awarded Professor of the Year. Dr. Menton has a PhD in Cell Biology from Brown University. He has stated the obvious truth that biological systems leave little to chance, for genetic information is precisely encoded in the DNA. When it comes to the chance arrangement of amino acids into biologically useful proteins as required by evolution, there are, he said, more ways to arrange them than there are atoms in the universe. And he further states, there are only five ways that will work. When asked what the odds of evolution were, he simply stated, not a chance. So again we ask, could the universe have created itself as maintained by evolutionists? Could it have spontaneously come into being as millions and millions of ordinary citizens have been indoctrinated to believe by our educational institutions and by our media, which in the area of science only repeats what it does not know. Our God, who created this world, has a message for those who in unrepentance and disbelief persist in believing the world made itself. He delivered it through the pen of the Apostle Paul. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth. What can be known about God is plain to them, because God has shown it to them. For his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world in the things that have been made. So, they are without excuse. For although they knew God, they did not honor Him as God or give thanks to Him. But they became futile in their thinking, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Claiming to be wise, they became fools.